Are you excited about Coral Island? Well, before we pack our bags and go there, we might want to know a little bit about the island itself and the lore and legends surrounding it. Stick around and let's find out together. Hello there! I'm Mr. Cobwobbles, this is Alfred, and welcome to a new Coral Island video. If you're new, I made a few of these already, so if you want to see those, playlist is right over there. And today I'd like to address the world and the lore behind Coral Island. Without further ado, this is the current map of Coral Island. It's divided into seven different areas you'll be able to traverse and explore. On the left in the middle of the map, you'll be able to find your farm, which directly leads into Starlet Town to its right. Now Starlet Town is the heart of Coral Island and it's where you'll meet various islanders who all have stories behind them. It's up to you to uncover the stories of the roomy town and its interesting people. You'll be able to find various houses, a general store, a tavern, and much, much more. And apparently, there will even be a butterfly garden. I want to have a butterfly garden in my town. If we look back at the map, we can see the Starlet Town leads into the beach. Now, I'm guessing this is where you'll be able to find the beach shack, where a lot of the townies have their favorite foods. And apparently, the inn is over on the beach as well. The beach is described as having sparkly white sands and tons of seashells and seasonal fruit. Besides that, it's also the gateway to ocean exploration in this game. In other words, it's the diving spot. I'm guessing that it's here where you'll be able to pick a diving spot around the island and unlock deeper levels to explore. After all, this game is also about keeping the seabeds clean, saving coral reefs and species of fish in the process. Up north on the right side of the island on the map, you can see the lake and it guards the most magical place on Coral Island. Apparently, it houses an ancient temple, which is probably what we see in this footage here with the goddess of flowers who we will talk talk about later in the video. The lake is believed to be the main source of water, but also the source of the powerful and rich soil of the island. In the bottom of the map, we can see the lookout, which is where locals used to prepare for battles in the old days. However, when we will be moving there, it'll just be a beautiful lighthouse that guides the ships around Coral Island, but it'll also be just a nice place to enjoy the sunset and pick up some wild fruits. Then in the top left, we have the the mystic sanctuary for wildlife, the forest, or at least I think, feel free to correct me if I'm wrong, but the way the forest, woodlands, and hillside are described makes it a bit hard to find where they are exactly, but I think this is it. It's filled with ruins and who knows what else. Oh, and underneath is where you will find the cavern. Traverse it if you dare. The fact that the forest is described as having the cavern also makes me think that it is this spot on the island because like you see a mine cart over there and stuff. So I think that's the entrance to the cavern. Next up, as I mentioned, we have the woodlands, which apparently used to be part of the forest, but it is now tamed. But there's still plenty of green. You can find the school alongside the river, a taco truck. For some, for some reason, there's a taco truck in the woodlands for some reason. I mean, I'm not complaining. I, I would love to have a taco in, in the woodlands. <laughs> And there will also be more houses of the islanders that live on the island. And at last, the hillside is described as sandwiched between the forest and the woodland. So I think it resides here uh, on the map, the top middle of the map. Apparently a great combo between green and privacy. Apparently the vineyard would be in this area and so would the carpenters of... Coral Island. One more thing I'd like to point out is when we look at the map for diving of Coral Island, you can see that this map that we've just inspected is only a small portion of the entire island. So in other words, there will be more to discover and I'm very, very excited about it. Speaking of discovering more, me and Alfred also stream over on Twitch. We play games over there like Coral Island, Stardew, Animal Crossing. And when this game comes out, you bet your butt that I will be streaming streaming that over there too. So check it out and feel free to hang out. Okay, now that we've investigated the world of Coral Island a little, what about the lore? I mentioned the Goddess of Flowers before, and I've also talked about this a little bit in one of my previous Coral Island videos. Again, you can watch those over there. And the Goddess of Flowers is part of the Coral Three. The Coral Three consists of the Goddess of Flowers, the Merfolk, 
and giants. The Coral Three, once upon a time, worked together to maintain the balance of Coral Island. And with the addition of Merfolk in the game, and this little snippet where we could actually see the Goddess of Flowers, they might still, to this day, be doing that trying to maintain the balance on the island. Now, as far as I can see, the Coral Three is very much inspired by a bunch of Indonesian myth and folklore. But then again, I'm no expert and I don't know enough of the subject to actually start making comparisons and stuff. But if you know some Indonesian folklore and myths that you recognize in this, feel free to leave them down below in the comments. I'd like to read it because I do think it's interesting. Now, the Goddess of Flowers was worshipped on the island by both the merfolk and the giants. And the locals also still believe in her and the idea that she is responsible for the island's waters, soil, and general well-being. It'll be very interesting to see how this part of the lore will affect the game. It looks like you'll be able to make offerings and such, and maybe we'll be able to get some benefits from doing so? Who knows? Well, well, I guess the devs know. <laughs> I, guess, I guess they know. So as I mentioned along the Goddess of Flowers, we also have the Merfolk. And the Merfolk are believed to protect the oceans. They were tasked to maintain order of the underwater world. The fact that we as players have to help save the coral reefs around the island and clean the seabeds for potential species of fish to return and stuff, that might have something to do with the Merfolk. We also see in a little snippet of the trailer that while diving we also see a mermaid so i think that it'll be likely that those two will be connected when the game was on kickstarter there also was a goal uh for a mermaid kingdom and since that goal was met we'll get a merfolk kingdom we will be able to meet 20 merfolk in total and we'll be able to befriend 10 of them and romance two of them. Nothing more has been said about how that would work, uh, but to gain access to the Merfolk Kingdom, we as players need to decipher their language and gain the gatekeepers' trust somehow before we'll be getting in there. And I bet that it will have something to do with cleaning the seabeds and saving the coral reefs. And yes, I'm very, very, very excited for this part of the lore of Coral Island. Last but not least, there is a legend on Coral Island about the Kingdom of the Giants. It's about giants, as the name suggests. <laughs> it's it's about giants. Giants that cultivated the rich soils on the island. There are a bunch of ruins on the island as well depicting giants and it looks like at some point in ancient history the humans lived alongside the giants peacefully. Other than that not a lot is known about the giants but I hope we'll be able to discover the kingdom of the giants. That would be freaking cool or at least come in contact with a few giants throughout the game. Furthermore, there's only one small thing about the world of Coral Island that I want to address, and that's Pufferfish Drilling Corp. I suspect they might be the villains of our story. They are a disgraced company, and they want to drill oil on and around Coral Island. They plan to scheme to take over the town and lobby their way into the community of the locals to make their oil drilling happen. But we, as players, I suspect, we can rise up against that. So, what do you think of the world and the lore around Coral Island? And what are you most excited about? Let me know in the comments below. Like and subscribe for more Coral Island videos, because more videos will be coming, of course. And if you want to, you can watch me and Alfred play games like Coral Island, Stardew Valley, Animal Crossing, over on Twitch. Thanks for watching, feel free to watch another video, and until next time, hoot hoot, mother forkers.